We got a weird one this week, y'all. We got a weird one. Burt's Bees this time. Burt's Bees did some weird... It's weird. They collab with Hidden Valley Ranch. It's not... I'm telling you, it is not about April Fool's anymore. <laughs> People are doing this. Brands are doing this in real life. They're doing it for real. I have all the details on what happened with the Burt's Bees and Hidden Valley Ranch <laughs> collaboration. I have all the details for you. I also have the ColourPop Love Collection that just came out for Valentine's Day. It is so cute. I actually have it to show you in the PR purchase product section. But I also have all the price points and what's in the collection, all of that. We have an Australian brand coming to the US, but I remember this brand from another time a long time ago. I'm very curious. I'm very curious. Uh, another collab with Hello Kitty. We have some indie brand news. A new launch from M Cosmetics that looks interesting. And then also Inked Magazine, the tattoo magazine, came out with a makeup line. I don't know if it's brand new, but it's new to me. So I'm going to share with you what the Inked Magazine ta a tattoo themed makeup looks like. It's, oh. Um, Mm, I don't know. We'll talk about it. I also, of course, have all of the things that launch at Sephora and Ulta. Tons of sales this week for Valentine's Day. I guess they're trying to get people to buy gifts. Just so much information for you. So hang tight. We are getting into it right now. Hello, my friend. Welcome back to What's Up in Makeup, where we talk about everything that was launched in the beauty space all in one place. You are watching, my friend, The Product Report. For many, many years, I had these all-in-one video, all of our top news stories, all of the products that were released this week, but there has been so much that I have been splitting them up into two pieces, and I think this is going to be a permanent change because I'm finding that I don't have to trim the things that I used to trim. I can get you more information, and you all seem to be loving the new format as well. So if you missed the top news segment that went live yesterday in real time, it will be linked down below for you so you can go check it out. We are talking about the products that were launched this week and we are going to start with this Burt's Bees launch. Goodness gracious, are you serious right now? <laughs> Collab with Hidden Valley Ranch for some lip balms. Because of course they did. It was a limited edition for, I say was for a reason, a four pack lip balm which boasts the flavors of, here's the four flavors, Hidden Valley Ranch, Buffalo Sauce, Crunchy Celery, and Fresh Carrot. You may be asking yourself why. Why did they do this? And the answer is they don't have to have a reason, but they actually had a reason. And the reason is, is that apparently the Super Bowl, which is coming up, it's the big US football championship of, just it's a thing here in the US. If you're not here, it's a big thing. Apparently that is the biggest day of the year for eating chicken wings. I don't know, and that's what this is supposed to be celebrating because apparently Hidden Valley Ranch sells a lot of ranch to go with the chicken wings. That's the logic. I didn't make it up, it's just the logic. Mariah Eckert, she is the general manager at Burt's Bees, said in a press release, quote, this all started with an April Fool's social post featuring Hidden Valley Ranch lip balm. Fans responded so enthusiastically. So for an exciting limited release, we're bringing together two fan favorites, Burt's Bees lip balm and Hidden Valley Ranch. This delightfully unexpected union comes just in time for dry lip season and game day. But I do have some sad news because if you were excited about a crunchy celery flavored lip balm, it is sold out. I actually went over there because I'm weird and <laughs> I just want to smell things. I was I got there two hours after they launched to see if I could get one and it was sold out of course. But if you still want a chance at getting your very own buffalo wing scented lip balm among the others, you can sign up for notifications if they decide to restock. The four pack is $11.99. Let's move on to something a little less crunchy. Love. It's so stupid. All right, the ColourPop Lost in Love collection launched this week. Uh, I do have it for you. I'm going to show you a couple of things. So there's the heart blending sponge. It does change colors when it is wet. There is a glitter gel in Sparks. That is what I accidentally got all over my lashes today. I'm sorry if it's annoying. Actually, I think it's kind of cute. I kind of like the little glitter in my lashes. <laughs> I try to put all over my, it, we'll talk about it later. If you're new to What's Up In Makeup, I talk about what's on my face and some new products that have come into my life, new releases. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes when we get to that section of the show. There's also three Jelly Mutt Shadows in Moon and Stars, All Love and Forever Valentine, Ultra Glossy Lips in Lover Era, Taken and One Kiss, Lip and Cheek Balms in Hearts Content, Adore You and Cutesy Wootsy, 
And then finally, the Lost in Love 12 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. The full collection, if you want everything, is $110. Individual products are priced between $8 and $26. They also have bundles of their pressed powder blushes uh, and bronzers and highlighters. Those are $32 for the sets. But again, more info about this in just a minute. Launching in the US is a brand that is popular in Australia. It is called Emco Beauty. Now, apparently this company has become popular on TikTok. And I'm telling you, it is giving me hard designer imposters vibes. Do you remember the perfumes designer imposters where it was like, smells just like, and it would be some bougie perfume, but you could get it for like 15 bucks. Emco Beauty specifically makes what they call dupes of very expensive products for under $30. Even the packaging looks similar. Like look at this Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter looking product. It looks almost exactly the same. It just has a different logo. According to Trend Mood, who did a sponsored post for the brand, this is a teaser launch of three cult fave products and that they are now available in Kroger stores. The three products that they're starting with in the US are the Extend Lash Mascara for $19. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Kevin Aquan The Volume Mascara. And then the Extend Lash Growth Serum Mascara for $26. And the Super Glow Bronzing Drops for $22. These are supposed to be a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops. The full line will be available in mid-February online and inside 1,800 Kroger-owned stores across the U.S. And I was like sitting there thinking, I was like, do I, I know I don't have a Kroger's, but do I have any Kroger's-owned stores? And I looked through the list. I'll put them up on the screen for you. I don't have any of these stores in Maryland, at least near where I live. But my thought was like, okay, so $22, $19, $26 for makeup at a grocery store? Are all these grocery stores? I didn't look up every single individual store. There's so many stores. But a grocery store? Are we paying $26 for a product? I feel like that's a lot. Cause like you're at the grocery store and you're buying like Cheetos and you're buying like milk and eggs and stuff. Well, you wouldn't put those together though. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really gross. Never mind. Anyway, my point is I'm buying necessities when I go to the grocery store. If I'm going to the makeup aisle, I'm getting my favorite staple mascara. Or I'm getting my favorite staple foundation. Like I'm not going shopping for impulse buying for makeup at the grocery store. And I think that might be where this doesn't do well, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You would think that they would try to hit up like Ulta or something, but I guess maybe there's too much competition at Ulta and they felt like it might just get lost there. So they're launching at grocery stores. I don't know. I just think that's kind of an odd choice. But anyway, so I'm over on their website. I'm kind of searching around and flipping around and I found this page and I was like, I know this brand. This is Model Co. <laughs> If you're not familiar with Model Co, Model Co used to be one of those staple brands that was always in subscription boxes and it wasn't a high quality product. When you got something from Model Co, most of the time it was like maybe a six out of 10 as far as the product at best. Sometimes like a four out of 10. I don't remember anything being like a one out of 10, but like mediocre quality and the packaging was kind of boring and like it just wasn't the thing you were excited to see in your Ipsy bag or in your BoxyCharm or wherever you got it. But to be fair, it has been since then that I tried a Model Co product. So a lot has happened. Maybe they changed their formulas. I don't know. I'm not saying that it's crappy now, but back then it wasn't something that I was excited to see. I don't think I have too many Australian viewers just because a lot of the things I talk about don't relate to what's happening in Australia. But if you are from Australia or you've tried Emco Beauty, I would love to know, has it gotten better? Because I'm very, very curious. <laughs> Moving on from that, I do wanna mention a collab, but I feel like the Hello Kitty collabs like so many brands have done them. It's like the Disney collabs. They just become less special when they're so oversaturated and they collab with so many different companies. I know the Creme Shop has collaborated with Hello Kitty before. These are really cute though. So maybe you might be interested if you're a big Hello Kitty fan, but I would imagine even if you collect Hello Kitty makeup, you probably already have a lot. <laughs> that being said, let me just show you what they are. They're cream blushes. They're $15 each. There's three different shade choices. The colors are Peach Poof, Strawberry Milk, and berry cute. 
Then we have a few indie brand releases that I want to mention. We have from Bella Beauty Bar, the Dead Roses palette. It is launching January 26th at 12 p.m. EST. It is a very pretty Valentine's looking palette. Very cute. There are also two new products coming from Chaotic Cosmetics. We have the Rainbow Prism Lip Tint. It is infused with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E and infused with rainbow flakes to add some extra rainbow to your day, they say. It leaves lips soft with a light pink natural finish. And then coming soon, they have the Rainbow Hologram Pearl Face Glow. They say this magical creamy liquid makes an out of this world base underneath makeup. It can also be used for an amazing dewy shift highlighter, safe for face, body, and eyes. That is very cool. Not something I would personally purchase because this is out of my adventure range. Like this is this is the the hiking the very very tall mountain. Like that's just I like to go hiking, but not the very very tall mountain. I like makeup, but holographic highlighter it's a little far for me. Something a little more in my realm where I might want to go, the DD Signature Blooming Basket Palette. It's launching January 25th, $32. Looks absolutely beautiful. Next up from Doll 10, we have the Doll Squad 3.0 Eyeshadow Palette. It is $44. One thing I don't like about Doll 10 is like we were talking about in top news, Doll 10 really plays on the clean beauty marketing. It's just like, it icks me out. It makes me go, eh. it makes me not want to buy from them. Even though I remember remember when they were called Dalton, D-A-L-T-O-N. <laughs> Like this is a brand that's been around for a long time. And like, I want to love them, but the fact they go so hard into clean beauty just irks me. It irks me. Tarte exclusive on their website for now. They have released the Maracuja Juicy Eye and Cheek Palettes. There are two colorways. There's a pink, peach and pink or a red and berry. They're $52 each. They call it an all-in-one palette. It looks like there's 12 eyeshadows in there and two cream blushes and one cream contour shade. This is really beautiful. Lancome released some limited edition Valentine's Day La Absolute Rouge Drama Matte Lipsticks. There's three shades available, $35 each. The print and the packaging on these, my gosh. <gasps> so, so freaking pretty. Guerlain has gotten the memo that luxury lip oils are the thing right now. So they have released the Kiss Kiss B Glow Oil, $52 each. There are six shades available. They say it's a honey infused tinted lip oil formulated with 92% natural origin ingredients. It's nourishing and plumping texture, delivers 24 hours of care, and ensures an instant volume effect and a completely addictive glassy shine with no stickiness. Enhanced and nourished lips are more beautiful day after day. They are coming for Dior on this one. Coming for Dior. Armani Beauty released an interesting product this week as well. It's the Lip Maestro Crush. It is a reinvention of the Lip Maestro. It looks like it's one of those diffused lip looking products. They say soft, vibrant shades and a plush matte finish that delivers deliver long lasting color and comfort. Floralise has been off of my radar and I wasn't sure why. It's like, why, do, why don't I talk about Floralise? Let's talk about it. Their most recent collection. It's very, very pretty. The Nomadic Glam Collection. You can get the whole collection for $245. Individual prices range from $30 to $55. There's the Into the Wild palette with seven shades. The Bloom Rouge Ultra, Ultra Smooth Satin Liquid Lipstick. The Flawless Jade breathable pressed powder, peony dream cream blush, flawless jade breathable longwear cushion foundation in three very, very pale shades, the Yurong airbrush tinted pressed powder in two very pale shades. And then as I'm looking at this, I realized that's why I don't talk about this brand is because the complexion products really are probably good for like 25% of my audience. So yeah, why would I talk about it? Like it's just... I understand, I believe they're a Chinese brand and I get it, but there are people of many different skin tones that live in Asian countries. They're, they, We really need to step it up here. I'm sorry, but that's, that's absolutely ridiculous. But if you're looking at this and you happen to see your shade, the accessories that they show, at first it looked like they weren't part of the collection, but they're considered like a free gift with purchase kind of thing when you buy a bundle of the products. But it's like, how are you gonna buy a bundle if you don't have your shade of the foundation? It's so dumb. I don't know what they're doing over there. Another big lip launch that was announced this week from Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood Beauty Icon lipsticks. They are coming soon. January 24th is the launch date. Five new shades of the Lip Cheat lip liners will go along with those new lipsticks. You can join the waitlist now at their website. 
M Cosmetics has a new setting powder. It is called the Portrait Mode Setting Powder. It is $38. The packaging is just black and white checks, but it is so giving me like Gwen Stefani Urban Decay vibes. <laughs> like that when I first saw it, I was like, that is so Gwen Stefani Urban Decay, but it really, it is different. I don't know. It's just very pretty. Nothing seems to stand out about the formula that's beyond any other powder, but it is really pretty packaging. I think that's what they're going off of for this. And then before we hit Sephora, the brand that may be a new brand, but may not be a new brand, but is new to me, Inked Magazine's new brand or brand. It is called Inked, of course. Prices range from $25.95 to $51.95 per product. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Lip oils in Temptress Lust, New School Stardust, or New School Wild Berry. Then we have a liquid lipstick in Temptress Charm, lip lusters in Love Struck Bliss or Golden Hour Sunbeam, and then a five pan eyeshadow palette. There's a few different choices. We have Temptress, Love Struck, or Golden Hour, and then a 12 pan eyeshadow palette called New School, which is totally giving me Saved by the Bell vibes. <laughs> Saved by the Bell in black packaging, very odd. And how in the world is this $52? This better be amazing quality. For $52, like what is happening? It's giving me hot topic, but make it from a tattoo company. <laughs> I don't know about this. I can't believe how much they're charging for this stuff. It better be good quality. That's a high price for what this looks like it is. Moving over to Sephora, we do have some shade extensions this week, starting with the In A Beauty product, Glaze Lip Oil in three new shades. The Tarte Fake Awake Eye Highlighter is now available in white. And they also have 14 new shades of their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. They're listed as coming soon. Speaking of Tarte, there is a new Glamazon on Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, that one, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, I believe, but it's now available at Sephora. It is $47. As for new, new products, they just released from Tarte the Key Largo Glow Bronzing Drops. It's available in four shades for $35 each. They say it's a serum-infused, transfer-proof, glow-boosting bronze drop to create your perfect liquid bronzer by putting on full strength or mixing with foundation or moisturizer, and it can be used for the face and or the body. Sephora Collection has a new concealer building on that Best Skin Ever Hero branding, the Best Skin Ever Multi-Use Hydrating Glow Concealer. It has 30 shades, $15 each. They call it a lightweight, radiant, multi-purpose formula that corrects, conceals, and instantly brightens under eyes for a glowing natural complexion that leaves skin luminous and hydrated for up to 12 hours. It is advertised as medium coverage. I do love the Best Skin Ever foundation. I'm very curious about this one one. Kaja released a new product. This is the Wink Dazzle Dual Ended Eyeshadow Stick, $22. Very interesting. There's four duos. They all look like they are very light. One side they call a stick and the other side they call a stamp. This is what they say. Glides onto the eye area to create a stunning matte or shimmer or glitter look in three easy steps. And this was a little confusing to me because it looks like there's only one matte shade. That is the mocha sparkle shade. The rest of them are the stick is shimmer. So you have matte and glitter for that mocha sparkle shade or you have shimmer and glitter for the other shades. When they say three easy steps, the three steps are glide on the stick, you pat it out, and then you apply the glitter. Moving over to Ulta, pretty big drop from Makeup Revolution. Let's start with the Pout Tints. Eight Valentine's Day looking shades, $8 each. They say it's a long lasting sheer kiss of color with an irresistible gloss stain finish. Then we have the Fluffy Brow Filter Duo, $9, five shades, an ultra fine brow pencil on one end and a gel wax on the other to lift and enhance. You're going to see more products like that coming up. I feel like that's going to be the thing that's going to be in every single brow line now. Lip Allure Soft Satin Lipsticks, $8 each, nine shades. They say it's lightweight and non-drying on the lips with this creamy soft satin formula. This next one is so weird, and I am so curious about this. For people with oily skin, is this a thing? Because I have never seen this in my life. <laughs> it's, I'm sure, because Makeup Revolution did it, I'm sure someone else has done this before. <laughs> Yes, that was subtle shade on purpose. All right, we have the Matte Touch-Up Oil Control Roller. It is $8. This is what it says. The roller is formulated with real volcanic stone. 
to absorb excess oil and help your makeup stay flawless all day long. There's no product that absorbs the oil. It is the actual stone that absorbs the oil. So you roll it over your face, it absorbs the oil, and then you take the stone out and you wash it. After you wash it, you're supposed to leave it to dry for a minimum of eight hours before inserting it back into the packaging. The model that they show on the ad for it, it looks like it's working, but it doesn't absorb all the oil. It's really the excess oil, the people that have oil so much that you can see it, people that would carry blotting papers in their purse. This looks like it may be another option. I'm so curious if this works. This is probably the most exciting launch that they're pushing the most over at Makeup Revolution, the Skin Silk Serum Foundation. It's $14 and they say it features a weightless formula with a radiant satin finish, providing a breathable feel and light to medium coverage for a true skin healthy glow. They say it feels like skin, but on a really good day. There are 20 shades, but my friend, this is giving me tart shape tape foundation vibes. <laughs> like it's not as bad but it's pretty bad. There's a nice strong range of light shades. They pretty much skip the medium shades and then they get your signature deep shades in there. The shade range is really freaking sad. My only hope I have for this product is they do say that it is a light to medium coverage. So your skin, natural skin may shine through. So it may be a little more forgiving with finding an exact shade, but still it's, this is, this is not good. It is not good at all. Side note, I did also read an article. They have another product coming. This is the Bright Light Face Glow. It is slated to launch in store and online at Target in February for $12. They say it instantly illuminates the complexion. Glow boosting skin tint evens out the skin, delivering a lit from within glow with five sheer tinted shades. Pacifica also released a product called the Sunny Glow Bronzing Drops Complexion Enhancer. It's 16 bucks. It says it's sold out, but that probably means that it's just coming soon. REM Beauty released a gift set. It is called the Yours Truly Makeup Set. It is $42. You get three full-size products, new shades of the lustrous liquid shadow in 1954 which is a multi-chrome gold with pink the highlighter is a new shade in honeymoon high it's soft iridescent pink and then an existing shade of the plumping lip gloss in pink razor which is a baby pink and then finally in the product report section of the show we have a huge drop from la girl 18 products with prices ranging from $5.99 to $15.99. Some of it is listed as available now, and some of it has that sold out coming soon thing going on. Here's the list of what's new. We have new shades of the Soft Matte Cream Blush. We have the Let's Chill Hydrating Primer Stick, the Blurring Putty Primer Poreless, Pro Perfect Oil Control Multitasking Setting Spray, four 12 shade eyeshadow palettes that totally feel 2015. Like this is 2015 subscription box looking. I don't know what is happening there. The Here to Glow Desert Glow Envy 16 shade eyeshadow palette. The Brow Perfect Extreme Hold Styling. The Gel Glow Envy Bronzer Mousse. It does look like it's just one shade, which is weird. The Glow Envy Mousse Blush also just in one shade. What is happening? The Brow Ink Micro Brush Detailer Pen only in two shades. Glow Envy Skin Illuminizer in two shades, the Lumalicious Glow Lip Gloss in three shades, Instant Finish Tinted Primer in two shades, Pro Setting Brightening Loose Powder in two shades, and the Tint Lip Balm in four shades. This is my advice to LA Girl. Come out with less products, more shades. Just, just, just a thought. All right, my friend, PR purchased product of the week. I have quite a bit to share with you. I want to talk to you a little bit about the ColourPop Lost in Love collection. Now, I did not put my fingers in this because I do think I'm going to eventually do a giveaway with this. Not today because I still have a giveaway going on from my video that I put up on Friday for my Beautylish Lucky bag. So I can't start a giveaway today, but I will start one soon, most likely, for some of the ColourPop stuff. It's not going to be the whole collection because I did dip my fingers in and use some of it. But this is the palette. Let me actually take that off, but I'm not going to touch it. I wanted to show you next to last year's ColourPop palette that was for Valentine's Day so you can see the differences. I do not like pink shadows. I do not like red shadows, but I really liked this palette a lot. I've used it quite a few times. So that's the two different color stories. They are similar, but they are definitely not the same. 
I also want to take a moment just to appreciate this packaging. The outer boxes are freaking beautiful. They are raised and whoever designed these, whoever did the art deserves a raise. <laughs> they are just so beautiful. It's giving me like gummy vibes. I just really, really freaking cute. This is the body glitter gel. And I don't know why I opened this. I've used these before. I found these difficult for me, for my personal makeup style to use these. I don't know why I opened this and started using this. This will probably go to my 15 year old Phoenix. We'll probably give this to them. Uh, but I try to put this on my eyes today with the natural look I have going on and it was a freaking mess. It looked so stupid. I think it's just that I don't know how to use these in a way that looks right with my personal style of makeup. Uh, so what I ended up doing because I accidentally got some on my lashes. Oh, I got a wonky lash. Boop. Let me see if I can push it down. Boop. Wonky lash. Go away. All right. Go away, wonky lash. Okay. So what I ended up doing was just taking a little bit of this because I accidentally got some on my lashes because I was trying to get the glitter off. I, I just kind of pinched some all over it and I think it looks really cute. I like the little random glitter over my eyes. I think it's fun. Sorry if it was annoying for you. I can hear some people saying, Jen, the glitter is annoying. Don't do that. And I'm like, okay, I won't do it again. But I enjoyed it for today. It's just a one day thing. One thing I wanted to mention about these blushes is that they're very, very hard to open. Like even with my fingernails, I have trouble getting these things open. Like I have to really dig underneath to pop this open with my fingernail. This is the blush that I'm wearing today. It is gorgeous. This is in the shade Hearts Content. It goes on pigmented, but it blends out very nicely. It's also very buildable. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I also use this as part of my lipstick. What I did for my eye look is I used this MAC palette that I had bought. This is just amber times nine. So what I did was I used this for my eyeshadow look, and then I made a mess all over my lips is what ended up happening. <laughs> So I use the ultra glossy lip and this is in the shade one kiss from the collection. I tapped a little bit of this shade on top of it. I know this sounds weird. It looked really, really freaking gray, but I worked with it and I made it happen. So I, then I added the color pop lip and cheek over top of that. And that's how I got my lips today so that it wasn't so pinky pink, pink, pink. I cooled it down a little bit with this. Let me just go ahead and swatch for you real quick. The things that I tried to use and attempted to use today. This stuff is so weird. It's so weird. I would have loved this when I was younger though. I don't even know if Phoenix is gonna wear this. Maybe they can pass it on to a friend. Here is the glossy lip that I used. It's very sheer. It smells really good though. It smells like a, like almost like a strawberry ice cream. It smells really freaking good. And then here's the blush. So that's what we're dealing with, with those products. You can see how freaking pigmented that blush is, but it really does blend out very nicely. This, this glitter is impossible to remove with something dry. What you can do is use a piece of tape to get it off, which is what I'm gonna do when I'm done filming. And then the last thing I wanted to mention from this collection is the sponge. It does feel very soft. It's not the same feel as a beauty blender. There's kind of like a, a not quite a softness on the outside of it, but the squeeze of it is very similar to a beauty blender. The only thing I don't like about this is that this is kind of thin, so it's a little floppy. It doesn't quite have enough, um, not form in order to, to kind of do the concealer thing. It bends too easily and that's just the heart shape itself. So what I'm gonna do next time is use just the top of it for under eye concealer instead of the bottom piece. I also wanted to quickly mention two other products that are new to me. This came in PR. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer from Too Faced. This is in the shade Graham Cracker. Really enjoyed using this. I like this more than the regular Born This Way concealer so far because it is a lighter, more hydrating formula, which is what I need under my eyes. I did not set it with powder and it's not creasing. It's very, very nice so far. And then I got this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag and really enjoyed using it today. This is the Danessa Myrich Yummy Skin Glow Serum. And it's basically just a very slightly tinted serum primer and it gives a little bit of glow to the face. I use this along with my Lisa Eldridge foundation that I bought. This is in shade 10 and I really love this foundation, but I feel like the yummy skin underneath it gave it a little bit of extra glow that I was really going for today. So very much enjoying this as well. 
Notable sales this week. We have quite a few. We have from Laura Geller. They're still having their up to 50% off with an extra 10% off of everything on sale deal. Natasha Denona is having a retro sale, 40% off of anything in her retro collection. Fenty Beauty is having their holiday hangover sale with up to 60% off of select items. Kevin Aquan up to 70% off site-wide for their warehouse sale. Benefit up to 65% off for their winter beauty sale using code GOODTIMES or you can get 20% off of their value sets using code GETMYSET. Milani is having a BOGO sale. Buy one blush, get a second one for 50% off, or buy two at full price and get one for free. Ula Henriksen has 30% off of select moisturizing products. MAC is still having their last chance sale, 50% off select products. Ciate is having 50% off for their winter sale. Juvia's Place, 40% off winter pinks. Two sales over at Sigma, 35% off pretty much everything with code 35 off or 40% off of orders of $150 or more using code 40 off. And finally over at Too Faced, 20% off of foundations and concealers. And that, my friend, was what's up in makeup this week. Thank you so, so much for watching. And thank you, as always, to the What's Up in Makeup Facebook hunters. Their names are scrolling below me. Thank you so much for all of your submissions this week. I appreciate you so, so much. If you missed live chat yesterday, no problem at all. You can still watch it on the replay. If you enjoyed today's video, please take a second to just click that thumbs up button. It really does help me out so, so much. It tells YouTube that it's a good video that they should share with other people. If you're not already subscribed, about 25% of people who watch this show are not subscribed. I would love it if you could subscribe. I am under a thousand away from 300,000 subscribers. Even if you subscribe and then after I hit 300,000, you unsubscribe, that's fine. I just want to hit it one time. <laughs> So if you are not subscribed, if you can subscribe, that would be amazing. It's just a vanity metric. It's just for me to have the bragging rights that I did it one time. So I would love, love, love that. Don't, you don't have to. It's totally okay. But if you would like to be notified when I make new videos, you can also hit that bell notification. You're going to click on it and then scroll up and it'll say click to all. And that way you make sure you don't miss anything. I know I get comments all the time. People telling me that they, got, they didn't get notification. It's probably because it's not set to all or it might. I'm not gonna say probably it might not it might be because you don't have it set to all but no matter what level of involvement you have in my channel I appreciate you just being here watching this video thank you so much and if you would like to hang out just a little bit longer YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos over here for you to watch including last week's product report it's gonna be right there YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on videos you've watched in the past what which one they think you want to watch but if you do need to go I get it. It is no problem at all. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did. And I'd love to. And I will see you in a video very, very soon.